Hey, it's me, Hannah. Mood Fabrics has been dropping these lovely little patterns on us for the last couple of months now, and I have been so excited to get through my most recent cause plans so that I could finally turn to them. Right at the beginning of the year, they posted a free pattern for the Sunday morning jumper, and I immediately put it on my to make list because it just looked so cozy. So today I want to start making one, but with spring right around the corner, I kind of want to give it a little bit of a springy cottage core twist. So I think the thing that's gonna make this jumpsuit feel a little more cottage core versus lounge or athleisure wear is gonna be the fabric. I found these two thrifted checkered cotton fabrics already in my stash and I think they will serve my purpose perfectly. It's kind of a dreary day, cold and rainy outside and this is already bringing me so much lightness and joy and I just I'm so excited to be working with these fabrics. I already know I'm not gonna have enough of this fabric sadly to make a full jumpsuit but I'm gonna go ahead and try to make essentially a shorts version of this jumpsuit. A little romper. We'll see how it works out. I love this fabric so I really hope it does work. And then in this white and black checker I can definitely make that work. There's definitely enough fabric there. I already have all of the pattern pieces printed and cut out so let's cut the fabric. So I'm getting ready to cut the pattern into the short fabric, the, the, the romper fabric. And knowing that I don't have enough to do the full length jumpsuit, I'm just gonna fold up the pattern pieces so that they, the bottom of the pattern piece is essentially the exact same distance from the top of the pocket mark. So on the pattern, they have marked where the pockets are going to be, uh, the pocket placement marks. And what I've essentially done is just folded it up to meet the top mark. Um, and I'm doing that for both the front and back pieces in an effort to at least make the sides the same length. Is that going to work out perfectly for the other parts, like the in between the legs and the front and the back? I don't know. We're gonna have to figure this out together. I actually did end up shortening these by another seven inches. I'm overall happy with my decision to play it safe, not overcommit to any one length. If I had used a different fabric, I may even have opted to keep the length, but then use the extra to kind of roll up the hem and, and get that kind of look. A lot of options here, which I think is kind of the coolest part of using this pattern. So I'm getting ready to cut these straps. Um, what I'm planning to do, they have really good instructions on like how to do adjustable straps, but I'm feeling a little lazy. And I think it would also add to the kind of whimsical cottage core nature of the jumpsuit if I did little bows on top instead. So I'm gonna do two straps on each side, one in the front, one in the back, and then plan to tie them at the top so that they're still technically adjustable. But um, yeah, I have cute little bows on them. I have two pieces of fabric that are probably a little over a yard long, and I'm going to cut one and a half inch wide strips out of them. Sew up one side, trim down the seam allowance, and then turn it inside out using my loop turner. Anyway, almost done with the cutting, and then we can get into the construction.
actually, I realized that I don't really have a game plan for finishing these edges and um, the, the seams on the inside of the garment. I obviously don't want unfinished edges on the inside, you know, when I go to wear it or wash it. Um, <laughs> I need them to stay together. So, uh, and this, this fabric definitely could come apart. So what I'm gonna do is run these pieces through my serger, get some serged edges going, at least on the inside. Probably what I'll do for the rest of this evening is get the serger up and running, um, finish these edges of these pattern pieces, and then tomorrow will be all about construction, baby. So I probably should have at some point, up until now, now that I'm nearly done with actual construction here, tried it on at some point. So let's let's do that now. Let's try it on. Yeah, that's gonna work. Um, I feel pretty good about the fit. I definitely have some good movement. It's very comfortable. Um, obviously I still need to add the straps, but first let's do the pockets. Okay, my pockets are on. Um, now we are switching gears to the straps. I cut out one and a half inch wide straps with the extra fabric that I had, as long as I could make them. So I'm just gonna kind of rip through some straps real quick and then we can add the straps to the jumpsuit, hem up the necessary hems, and I think we'll be done. This is going pretty smoothly, knock on wood. <laughs> Let's wrap this up. I think this is the first time I'm using my loop turner since I purchased it a few months back. It took me a few tries to figure this out. Um, I definitely struggled with it for a little while, but luckily I had all these straps to practice on. 
So by the time I got to my last strap, I was in a groove and it's definitely a case of practice makes perfect. Because I wanted that strap to lay as flat against the top seam as possible, I ended up just adding one more row of stitches at the very, very top. I think this kind of helps clean up the entire top neckline, which is nice, as well as reinforcing the straps themselves so they just get that extra bit of durability. so excited I uh, the Sun is finally starting to peek out and it's warming up just a little bit so I am going to work on styling these up um, I have a few uh, social things I'm gonna do this weekend so I will be out and about wearing my brand new jumpsuits so with that I will see you in the project reveal I am so happy with these. They're so comfortable. They were pretty easy to make. Um, and I, I'm very happy with my fabric choices. I feel like I've achieved my goal of kind of a cottage core, comfy, yet cute, easy to wear out type of look. They are a touch sheer. So I had to be kind of strategic with what I was like wearing <laughs> underneath. So I may choose to come back and essentially 
add a lining to them or maybe in future iterations have a lining. I wore them out and I, I am comfortable wearing them out, but I think in general, these will probably just be hanging out at home apparel anyway. Plus I think adding a lining could add, you know, add a little extra structural soundness to some of the seams on the inside. I, I surged any extra seam allowance I had, so I'm not worried about the structural integrity, but yeah, just, I don't know, a lining I feel like would add a little extra to this and probably be a good idea. Also the, the pockets on this ended up being a little low. I could probably just replace them um, and move them up a little bit more to be a little higher on the hip. I didn't perfectly transfer the placement of the pockets from the pattern to the fabric. So, you know, that might be on me a little bit. That's on me guys. I do think that that is something easy to fix. So I might move the pockets up a little bit in future iterations and maybe even come back and fix them on these as well. All in all, very pleased. These are definitely something that I will continue to wear in the future. So I'm sure you'll see in future videos. And yeah, I just had a lot of fun making them. And if you had as much fun as I did, it would mean the world to me if you would like and subscribe. And if you do, I will see you in two weeks from our next video. Take care.